What's up, y'all? We're here. Oh, that is loud as shit. Oh my god, that's loud as fuck. Forgot to put the volume down. <laughs> there we go. Much better. So, um, make sure it's all moved. Yeah, we are. Okay. Gyarados, y'all. Gyarados is here. They are great. Um, a lot of major changes to them, so this one will be a little bit longer on the longer side. Um, I'm very happy with how they turned out, but I am not exactly sure where to start. What I will say is, okay, let me think. So if I'm somebody looking at this and I'm thinking in my head, well, what's, you know, what's going to jump out at me as weird or that would warrant more explanation? Uh, I would say that the, the dual typing is probably pretty self-explanatory. Um, if you're wondering from a, from a balancing point of view, there are far more water darks now than there are water dragons. And so uh, water dragon Mega Gyarados is a much better choice from a balancing point of view. Um, also much better defensive typing, um, which coincides with the nice with its abilities, which I'll talk about later. Um, but first I want to quickly say, what else would jump out at me? Uh, the base stat total and Magikarp still being bad. Those are other things that would jump out at me. So I, there is no universe in which Magikarp will be good. I, that its entire existence is literally to be bad. So I felt extremely odd making it good or usable until level fucking 40. Another thing that would probably jump out of people is, oh, why'd you make it? Why'd you nerf it? Why is it level 40? Um, I'm sorry, but if you were, if you're keeping, okay, if you're a new viewer, then welcome. If you are, you know, just watching these, uh, you know, you're familiar with my work and stuff, you probably should have expect, like, there's no universe in which I make a level 20 Gyarados available to the player. It's just not happening. I mean, that completely shits on all of the balance and all of the stuff I've ever done. Gyarados has always been way too fucking strong um, for when you can get it, and so I obviously had to put a stop to that. Doesn't change the fact that Gyarados is fucking great now, um, or it, is, it functions very differently than it used to um, in a lot of ways. It's better and worse in some ways. Uh, overall, much more balanced, and it fits in really nicely with all the other Pokemon now. So, uh, Magikarp has its stats swapped around a little bit, just because the deck says it's actually pretty hardy, and it can, like, well, number one, the deck says it's literally like it's so slow. Um, it's terrible in speed. There's a bunch of you guys. You guys can read them. It doesn't matter. It's fucking Magikarp. Who cares? You're never using this thing. Um, if you're like doing a team lock, the Nuzlocke, and you got stuck with one somehow, it could be decent with like a Violet and like Wimp out sets as like a pivot or something, or uh, Z Hop will give you plus three attack. You could use that in conjunction with Aqua Jet. Um, I actually have a calc here. It's kind of funny. Base 10 maxed out with plus nature is actually 325, which is not terrible. I mean, it's, 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 a, it's a meme, dude. It's magic carpet, right? There's only a person in which this thing is actually good. But it, if you had to use one, it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world if you really knew what you were doing, uh, especially because it also has like decent utility. Like you could use it as a rain setter, I guess, or rattled sets with like Z hop to get plus one speed, plus three attack, I guess. I don't know, man. It's, it's fucking Magikarp. I don't know what you want from me. So, yeah, uh, I made it. If I, if I was equally shit because it's Magikarp. And then the dex, again, talks about how slow it is and how it is really bad and it's not fast and it can't even swim against the fucking... Look, virtually worthless in terms of power and speed. It can't even swim against the weakest currents. So Swift Swim made no sense and then 80 base speed made no sense. Um, so he has much better bulk. Um, I mean, it's still bad, but like... For early game, that's actually pretty solid bulk, like first island, but you're not even gonna get it on the first island because uh, there's only one fishing spot on the first island before you beat Hala. And I am not about to waste one of those slots on something that you're not even gonna fucking use. I would like to put actually viable water types in there or mon fish ones that you cannot get otherwise on the island. Um, so it'll just be a random encounter later on over fishing. It doesn't matter. But that hopefully answers any questions regarding Magikarp. As for the abilities, I mean, I think it's just kind of funny. Uh, to have Wimp out, and again, Swift Swim made no sense. It's the worst Pokemon. It is by far, it by far has the lowest base that total in the game, which it should, because it's fucking Magikarp. Um, it's literally supposed to be useless and terrible, so yeah. Even like the Mons who previously had the worst base that totals are going to have much better usable stats because they're actually intended to be used. Magikarp, not intended to be used technically, but if you really had to, you could. Um, that being said, the real, the real interesting stuff here, obviously, is Gyarados, so I'm going to talk about that now. So, like I said, level 40 evolution, um, and I try my best to space out the moves, but there was no way I, that he wasn't just going to learn a billion moves when he evolves. Sorry, I guess if you're using one in game, you have to press, you know, forget or don't teach a bunch of times if you don't mind any of those moves, but, excuse me, a lot of them are actually very good. Um, so, hmm, okay, I'm going to talk about Gyarados stats now, because that's another thing that might jump out of people is, why is it mixed? 
Well, for those of you who don't know, Gyarados... Um, well, first of all, in Gen 1, it had a base 100 special. And for some fucking reason, they gave it 60 special attack and 100 special defense instead of the other way around. I don't know why they did that, but... I mean, it's better, technically. Like, in, in competitive, it's better to have 100 spit out for sure. Like, it's much bulkier now. But it doesn't really make a lot of sense, in my opinion. I think 60 special, 100 special attack would have been better. But anyways, it doesn't matter. Point being, Gyarados is literally known for destroying entire cities. And let me make sure I'm recording, by the way. I'm pretty sure I am. Yes, I am. Uh, blazing ruins. It goes on a rampage, demolishes everything around it. It's it fucking. It's literally the most violent Pokemon of all fucking time. It's just insane, and it hyper beams, incinerates everything, and it burns everything to the ground. With I mean, come on, dude. This thing should have a good special attack set. I, I don't care. So, um, like Waylord and a couple of others, they will have base 600 base that total, despite only being a one stage evolution line. Um, because there, as there are other mods like that again, Waylord, although Waylmer, Waylmer will actually be viable. Um, but yeah, um, that's why I have 600 base that total because it needs it to have mixed offenses. So base Gyarados, I ended up opting for slightly lower special attack. Number one, because of Berserk. Number two, because I wanted uh, over 110 H base HP because he's fucking huge. He's Gyarados. He's 30, 20 feet long and 500 pounds, so he's huge. Um, However, you could argue I quote unquote nerfed Gyarados in some ways. It functions very differently. It is genuinely viable to be both, to be offensive on both ends, um, but it is much less bulky overall. So physically, it's actually bulkier. But uh, so, for example, like if you're running Moxie in, in, in vanilla games, you had Moxie, right? So if you're running Moxie Gyarados, Sweltering Sun Gyarados is bulkier than Moxie Gyarados um, on the physical side because it has slightly better defense. I mean, just to make it an even number to match its special defense, and then it has 114 HP, so that's obviously much bulkier, but um, you lost Intimidate. Um, the reason being, there is another water flying type that has Intimidate. That's also why base Gyarados doesn't have Swift Swim, if you're wondering. That's another thing that I want to quickly address, but I'll talk more about that later. Um, it also makes way more sense on Mega Gyarados, because look at their designs. Mega Gyarados is much more like water... I would say uh, hydrodynamic, I guess is what you would call it. Um, you know, he's built for swimming. Uh, the Dex even says that. Um, talks about how streaking above the water on supersonic speeds, it jets water, uh, zooms out of the water at Mach speeds, it splits ships into. So base Gyarados flies around and swims around. Mega Gyarados, I have, I have a weird, this is a headcanon. I'm sure Mega Gyarados, Mega Gyarados can probably just fly anyways, but he definitely prefers swimming. That's my headcanon. Um, just judging on the body shape and the aquatic looking vibe of him, he's much more aquatic looking than Gyarados is. Not that, not that Gyarados isn't aquatic looking, but like, Gyarados has like the whole almost crustacean-esque vibes to it and the giant fins and shit. So it totally looks like it should be swimming around and jetting around. So Swift Swim is great on it. Uh, technically, Swift Swim overlaps with Seedra, but I mean, it's Seedra. It is a Violite viable, but this is a Mega, so it's, the, I'm not really worried about the overlap there. And it fits way too well. And I also needed another ability that's as good as Multiscale. And so, uh, yeah, I'll talk about that later, though. It's, go it's great. Um, Gyarados is great. Although, on paper, it is not as bulky as it used to be without multi-scale, but again, you're probably going to be running multi-scale if you aren't running a crazy-ass rain set, which is really strong. I'll talk about that in a little bit. There's a lot I want to mention, but um, yeah, Gyarados. So, much more HP, much more special attack, lost special defense purely just for base stat total reasons, um, and it has two great super fitting abilities. I mean, I love these abilities for it. It's so, like, perfect. Like, it, they're just so perfect. So, Berserk, I mean, come on. Literally every single entry just screams Berserk. Um, and that is great because I actually gave them Roost now. So I know an Aqua Ring as well, uh, both of which heal by 50%. So uh, the only reason you would probably use Aqua Ring over Roost is because it has a different Z effect and because um, it doesn't ground you, I guess. So like, you know, you can't be hit by Earthquake, I guess, but when you Roost, or even when you use Aqua Ring rather. So that's something, or you know, not any, you know, any any ground type for that matter. Um, so that's niche, but I mean, I would probably rather just have the Roost TM to switch on and off. But I mean, you know, you can always keep Aqua Ring. Um, either way, though, Berserk with Roost is is just oh so good. You can use like Salakberry Berserk sets with Roost and just go to town. You can use Agility sets with Berserk and Roost and go to fucking town. You can just rack up special attack boosts over and over again. So your 120 special attack, despite being slightly lower than your attack, is definitely really good with um, that. And also, you have an amazing special move pool. Gyarados already had an amazing special move pool, so I didn't even have to add much. All I added was some stuff that also gets in the physical side. In fact, some of the only coverage it gets physically that doesn't get specially is um, Psychic for Psychic Fangs and... 
Uh, there's one more. Um, if you don't count Solar Beam, then it has Power Whip physically without having, and also Rock moves physically without having special Rock moves. So you know, Stone Edge, Rock Slide, all that shit. Um, and Bug type moves physically. So it's physical movable, but then it's special. Sorry, physically though, it lacks uh, strong fire moves because it has Raging Fury and Fire Fang, which are both good. But Raging Fury is only 100 base power if you are moving second, and then Fire Fang is flat 75, which is good. Don't get me wrong. But the point is. Both special and physical sets are very viable. Berserk makes special sets amazing. Um, also, despite not having Swift Swim, it's still amazing under rain because it can spam Hurricane, it can spam Thunder, it can spam um, Water Stab. You got Water Type priority, you have dual, dual Stab priority here. Um, and then, yeah, that's just amazing with Berserk is my point. Uh, and you can also use bulky sets with Berserk or fast sets. So you can use Salak Berry or Agility sets with Berserk, or you can just run bulky HP sets with Berserk if you want. Uh, those are all viable. Uh, Assault Miss Gyarados is excellent now. I mean, it always was, but now it's, it's much more excellent. Despite losing Intimidate, bulky defensive Gyarados is really good because Water Flying typing is really good defensively. And it actually has, like, recovery now, so that's excellent. Um, so that's... Berserk for you. Again, you have elemental coverage here and here and all this great shit. You guys can read it. I'll have to list it all off. But um, another great thing about Berserk is that you can use it on your pre-Mega Gyarados and then Mega Evolve and get Swift Swim. So I'll talk about... Yeah, here's what I'll do. I'll talk about Berserk, then I'll talk about Swift Swim on Mega Gyarados and how those interact and how Swift Swim is great on Mega Gyarados. Then I'll talk about Aerolate on base Gyarados. Then I'll talk about Multiskill on Mega Gyarados. I'll do all of those things. So that's what I'm going to do. So... Yeah, Berserk turns into Swift Swim. So what you can do is you could even self-set Rain Dance. So what you could do is like, I mean, this is obviously like you could you're probably better off just using Rain Dance on an ally and then like, you know, um, using an eject button, which is infinite use now, you know, or just switching the fuck out or using parting shot or U-turn or volt switch, whatever the fuck it is. Um, but um, at the end of the day, you can always technically do self-setting rain. So you could totally do rain dance with Berserk, let them take you to Berserk range, get the special attack boost, um, and then you can click roost or something, and then you can mega evolve, or you can just mega evolve after clicking rain dance. So for example, say whatever's in front of you, you know for a fact it's gonna do over 50% to you. So you can get off the rain dance, mega evolve, get your swift swim after you have a plus one special attack boost from Berserk, which is why that's amazing. Um, and then you can just go to town. Uh, under rain, Mega Gyarados is great on both physical and special sides. Physically, it has more setup, Especially it has Nasty Plot, and then physically it has Coil and Swords Dance, and then also Power Trip and all this other great shit that I'll get into in a little bit. Um, but I'll talk about that with multi-scale, but obviously those are also viable on Swift Swim sets. Um, that being said, though, you can run Berserk into Swift Swim and spam Hydro Pump or you know, special water moves, and then you've got um, amazing stuff like uh, Hurricane, which is not Stab anymore. I understand a lot of people would have wanted base Gear to Stab Swift Swim, but it doesn't make really that much sense in my opinion. And then also, um, we have another water flying type that will have that will be having Swift Swim, so stay tuned for that. Um, there are, I believe, off the top of my head, there's four in the hack right now. Um, I don't know if that is including cast form, um, water form, but anyways, there's another one with Swift Swim. That's why Gyarados also doesn't have it, and also because Berserk is perfect, man, and it needs Aerolite, that's for sure. Um, so Aerolite is a, is a necessity. So, and that's also really cool, I'll get into it in a little bit. It actually makes, like, Hyper Beam and shit viable. That's another thing, you might be looking at this and be like, Oh, Berserk for special sets, you're really for physical sets. Um, technically, you're not wrong, but you can totally run um, mixed sets with Berserk or special sets with Aerolite. So, um, but I'll talk about that when I get to Aerolite. So, back to Mega Gyarados, you have Water Stab with Swift Swim, and then you can use Thunder and Hurricane for coverage, and both of those will not miss anymore. Um, they were 85% accurate, 120 base power. But uh, they become 100 percent accurate, which is really, really powerful. Um, and they have great additional effects, you know, flinch chance and par paralysis chance, 30 percent each. Um, so that's all great shit. And then, like I said, you're using those with plus one special attack if you use self-setting rain dance. So, again, amazing stuff. You can also just use a rain team and then just swap your Gyarados and get a Berserk boost. You can use Roost, stack up your Berserk boost with base Gyarados, and then Mega Evolve, and then get Swift Swim, and then just you know, you're at your plus three special attack, for example, and then you're just killing everything with Swift Swim. Um, you have base 81 speed, which I kept, which is a good speed tier. Um, you outspeed a lot of stuff with that. You can always run Scarf on base Gyarados if you wanted to. You have priority moves, like I said. Mega Gyarados gets a slight speed boost because it makes sense looking at his appearance, but also he has Swift Swim. So, for example, uh, excuse me. Um, 
say you're running a neutral nature Gyarados with no speed investment. After uh, in the rain, you are still massively quick. You are still hitting 416 speed. That's with zero investment neutral nature. So you can always just speed creep. Say you need to hit a certain speed there, you just put 100 EVs on there. There you go. Boom. You know, you're outspeeding whatever you need to outspeed. So that's great. Um, and you're not really sacrificing any bulk with Swiss Swims, that's my point. So you can uh, invest in your 114, 190, 90 uh, bulk, which is good on its own, especially with the Water Dragon typing, but uh, multi-scale is just, oof, multi-scale is something. Um, so, yeah, um, uh, what was I saying? Tons of great coverage, I already covered most of that. I mean, you guys can read it, I'm not going to waste time. It has coverage for literally everything, man, uh, as it should. I already had that anyways, I just gave it a bunch more stuff like poison and uh, physical electric stuff and all that crap. Um, but yeah, uh, what was I saying? Berserk, just for swim, for swim. I mean, that's about it. I mean, you can run physical sets with Swift Swim, of course. Um, you can run mixed sets with Swift Swim. You can run setup sets with Swift Swim, you know, whatever you need to do. Um, so now I'll talk about multi-scale, then I'll talk about air. Actually, no, no, I'll go back to air late. So air late is great on Gyarados, obviously. I mean, otherwise, it's only physical flying stab is bounce, which is 75 base power, 100% accurate, which is not terrible, but like, you know, it's two turns, it gets kind of annoying. It's not great, um, but you could totally do that if you had to. And then you have um, two more things for physical flying stab that is not air late. Uh, where is it? Here it is, Acrobatics, uh, which is niche, but useful, I guess. Um, you know, you can either just run flat no item, or you can run flying gem. I would rather just run flying gem. If you're gonna do no item, just run flying gem. Same shit, same idea, um, just stronger. The first hit will be 130 base power, because Acrobatics is 100 base power now, uh, when it's no item. So, that's really useful to have uh, for flying step. Sky Attack technically is, uh, is good, actually. It becomes 180 base power and it always crits. Uh, with power herbs so that's a niche thing you could do you could actually do sky attack into acrobatics with power herb if you really wanted to but i don't know why you would do that when you have air late right there um i mean berserk mix maybe you could do like a berserk into i don't know it, it's situational but it, it's there um but yeah um and then your last your last non-air late uh physical flying stab is dive bomb and that is a flying type high jump kick so that is really strong and powerful, and that goes really nicely with Coil. Um, after one Coil, you won't miss that anymore. Um, Coil also works really nicely with multi-scale on Mega Gyarados, and it works really nicely with um, all kinds of moves. Physically, um, which is mostly what I'm going to focus on, because yeah, you could run Special Coil for the defense and accuracy, but that's really niche. Um, physically, though, Coil boosts the accuracy of... Um, where is it? Surging Strikes becomes 100% accurate instead of 90%. Um, Power Whip, Stone Edge and a couple more smaller power moves. Uh, Iron Tail, which is not small power at all, but uh, Iron Tail is 110 base power. But yeah, uh, Gunk Shot, all those moves become 100% accurate with, a, with a, a coil boost, which is really, really great. And you become much bulkier as well. Um, and again, that's great on Mega Gyarados as well. So yeah. Um, after that, you will have Power Trip as well. And I've covered this in almost every single fucking change guide at this point but what that does it gives you plus one attack each time you use it it's only three pp so you can't just sweep the fucking opponent with six power trips and boom 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 done um and you get plus one attack each time you use that so after one coil boost you're getting three boosts so that is a 60 base power addition so that would be 80 base power on the first use of power trip with coil and then you get plus one attack after that and then you get another 20 base power and that can just keep snowballing out of control so it's kind of similar to how a moxie worked but uh Obviously, its abilities are much better than that now, so, yeah. Uh, oh, crap. God, it went all the way up. Come on. Speaking of Moxie, there you go. But anyway, come on. Come on. Come on. There you go. So, back to what I was saying. Um, that's my train of thought. Um, like I said, 86 speed tier is great with Swiss Swim. You can invest in max bulk or max HP, or you could just do 160. You could just invest maximum in both your offenses with Swiss Swim if you really fucking wanted to. Um, depending on what's in front of you, let's say I want to sweep this team with Swiss Swim, but they have a really bulky special defense mon and a really bulky physical defense mon, then they just run Hydro Cannon and Waterfall or whatever you need to do, you know? So that's really good stuff there. Um, and then obviously multi scale is excellent. Um, and you can actually get your multi scales back with Roost. Um, the only downside being your middling speed without Swift Swim and your bulk isn't that great. I mean, it's good. Don't get me wrong. It is good. But for a Mega, 
that is not that fast. It's really not that great. So molten scale, and also there's tons of moves that hit two times and all that stuff. So, um, yeah. But don't get me wrong. Molten scale is god tier on Mega Gyarados, as it should be. Mega Gyarados are probably one of the later Mega Evolutions alongside the pseudo legendary Mega Evolutions. Uh, probably like towards the end. Like I would say earliest Pony Island, most likely. Maybe maybe Aether Foundation if I can find a spot, but most likely Pony Island. Uh, so yeah. Um, yeah, that's ugh, this is fucking fly. It's been in my room like all fucking day. It's pissing me off. My spider. Um. Anyway. Yeah. Uh. So that's air late option. Sorry, that's non air late physical stab options. Um. That works good with coil. So again, dive bomb, power web, stone edge, all that stuff. Um. And also power up is obviously really good coverage for it. Um, it actually got that in Gen Eight, so that isn't something I did. It's just something that it has in Gen Eight. Um. Dragon Dance is obviously excellent with multi scale or just regular Gyarados with air late. Um, I don't even need to explain why that's good, although you only have two uses now, so it's, I mean, two is really all you fucking need anyways, so if you can get, if you can get a position where you can safely get two DDs, I mean, they're good, but, you know, just to ensure that there is no, like, absolute ridiculous cheese with plus, plus six, um, nonsense, uh, and you also can't, like, DD then come back in later if you failed the sweep, so that's, um, you know, you gotta be a lot more intelligent with how you set up now, um, Especially because there's a lot of anti-setup stuff that trainers have now. Um, either way, hold on, take a sip of my drink. Where my water bottle go? Here it is. Okay, so yeah, great coverage, like I said. What else is there? Um, air relate stuff. Yeah, air relate stuff. Okay, multi scale. I don't need to talk about it anymore, man. I mean, it's it's there. It's amazing. Uh, if you're not running rain sets, you're probably gonna want multi scale. But pre mega berserk into mega get swift swim is definitely worth it over multi scale. Like. Because this is why I designed the abilities this way. Because if it was just some, if it was like, let's say these two were swaps, for example, um, then Swift Swim coming from Airlight, for example, would be would mean that Berserk and Tumult scale is fucking insane. Um, although there's a kind of a weird synergy or anti synergy there. The point is, it's still way too strong. Um, and so this way, you can actually really encourage you Swift Swim, which is already situation situation la English Jesus, man. <laughs> it's already situationally there we go, uh, better, much better than. Um, multi-scale so again you have infinite ability capsules so just swap your abilities as you need them you don't have to you know there's not just one choice you get to pick and choose uh as you need it uh, otherwise you have other utility stuff like scary face and battle cry um like i said you have roost you have all this other stuff and then in terms of air late moves you have tons of amazing stuff so you have quick attack which becomes 60 base power flying type priority um you have also z hop is there for setup on base gyarados with like you could you could um you could run like z hop Air like quick attack, which is really strong, but you have Swords Dance right there, so I don't know why you would want to do that really. Other than, I mean, plus three is better than plus two, and also uh, Z Hop will bypass Taunt, which is cool, I guess. But overall, I mean, you probably just want to run Swords Dance. Um, but it's there, you know, if you need the if you need the plus one extra, because it is a, that is a pretty significant boost over uh, Swords Dance. So I don't know why I'm downplaying it. It's good. It's just. Otherwise, it's useless, so that's why I'm kind of on the fence about it. And you can also run Aqua Jet with that, so you could run like a bulky Z Hop set with Aqua Jet Quick Attack and then some other third move, Roost or whatever the fuck you want, or some coverage move, you know? So that's really useful. Um, yeah, uh, Air Late, so Quick Attack, like I said. Flail um, can work really well with like Sash sets or Roosts. Uh, Salak with Air Late is really strong. Um, or Roost Leechy Berry with Agility or something, and Flail. Um, whatever you want to do. The point is, early at Flail Max is at a 220 base power, so that's a very strong option to have um, if you are planning that. Otherwise, you have Retaliate, which becomes, uh, I believe, 114. I can do my math. Yeah, 114. Uh, base power, flying type stab with no drawbacks, and that doubles to fucking 228 when something just fainted, so that is excellent. Truly excellent. Um, and then you have. Uh, where is it? Hyper Voice on a special side is the same power, but obviously you don't have the doubling effect. But you do bypass substitute, so that's great. Um, and then you have Giga Impact and Hyper Beam. Uh, and that was the cool thing I was talking about earlier, because like half of the Kyrgyz deck entries mention Hyper Beam, and it learns it by level up, because, you know, it, you know, in the anime, it just fucking shoots out Hyper Beams and shit. And it's kind of awesome that Hyper Beam is actually great on Air Lake Gyarados now, um, because if you guys don't know by now, I hope you guys know this by now, but if you don't, I will cover it really quickly. Hyper Beam and Giga Impact are the same effect as all of these moves, which are all the same effect as Psycho Boost and Leaf Storm used to have, um, and Floor Cannon, Draco Meteor. 
So those four moves, these are all clones or variants of those moves um, with 150 base power, 100% accuracy as well. Um, but Hyper Beam and Giga Impact are actually 160, number one, because they're normal type. I think it's kind of cool to have that. Um, and number two, I just think it's cool to have like uh, boosting like air light pixelate type abilities with these makes it stronger than Floor Cannon and what's the other one? Uh, Zap Cannon with Galvanize and Pixelate. So I think that's really cool. Um, and they're just, you know, they're like the penultimate fucking offensive normal moves, so they should be one of the strongest. Uh, actually, I believe they are the strongest in this case, besides like Flail and shit and other, other technicalities. Um, yeah, really awesome stuff there. Happy being Giga Impact. Both of those are great with Aerolate, obviously. Um, those are 192 base power with Aerolate boost, and those will become... Like, if you use that twice in a row, minus two attack or, or special attack, effectively, is not even that big of a drop at all. Um, you're still hitting for an average of, I believe, I did the math in the other change guide for Pinsir the other day uh, with Giga Impact, but I'll do it again. If you guys um, didn't watch that one or didn't get that far, you are doing an average of 144 base power flying type move. Absolutely god tier. Um, otherwise, you have Whiplash and Double Edge, both of which are also extremely powerful. So, Whiplash uh, is 85 base power and it always drops defense. Um, so, the first hit is minus one defense, second hit is minus two defense, third hit is minus three defense. And what that does is it's one third drop, one half drop, 60% drop, and then at minus four, the defense is dropped by 66%. So, it isn't as significant as people might assume. Um, I, for one, did not learn that until relatively recently. I thought it was always just like something. I don't know. I assumed it would be like one fourth, one third, sorry, one third, one half, two thirds at minus three, and then um, three fourths at minus four. But no, that's not how it works because the formula is stupid. So, yeah, um, Whiplash is great. Obviously, really, really useful to whittle, whittle them down, and it's very reliable and powerful. Um, the first use is weaker than Whiplash, sorry, uh, Retaliate. Um, but then after that, you are stronger than Metaliate, obviously, assuming that they are not something they didn't just faint, obviously. Um, and then you have Double Edge um, and Last Resort. Last Resort is post game tutor. Strength is also great. Strength is normal type close combat. So, um, also, that's another weird thing. They have close combat. I mean, they're carried. Like, I was on the fence about it because they already had takedowns. So, I actually went back and removed uh, the weird close combat additions from Mons that uh, didn't need it anymore because they have takedown now. So, it's like you already have a 10 base power weaker. Fighting, stat, uh, fighting coverage move, you know, so it wasn't a big deal. But I figured leave it on Gyarados. I mean, he's he is literally like the most violent, raging Pokemon, arguably, of all time. So he can closely combat shit if fucking Sharpedo and stuff can use it. I, I can see Gyarados using it, so I kept it on there. Um, alt, 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 uh, English. Otherwise, you have Strength with Aerolite, becomes 144, 144 base power, and it drops three defenses by two. So that's great to have. Um, Sorry, by one is what I meant to say. It dropped both your defenses by one. It's close combat, man. It's, it's normal type close combat. Um, and then double edge is 125 base power, 20%, um, sorry, 25% recoil, but you have a 50% chance to drop defense. So that's really, really powerful. Um, and it's definitely worth using over strength uh, in a lot of cases, um, especially because you have roost, so you can heal that recoil off versus with the defense drop, you would have to switch out to get rid of those. So um, that's another reason to use recoil moves. Also, you have shell bell, which will negate recoil almost uh, it heals 20% of damage that you deal, so I buffed it to 20%, so therefore you're only taking 5% recoil from these moves with Shell Bell, which is like nothing, so that's really nice to have um, if you want. Otherwise, um, yeah, Double Edge, I believe, becomes 100, yeah, but Double Edge is 150 base power with uh, Aerolite, so that's really strong. Um, and yeah, that's all, that's it for your Flying Zab. Um, I think that's about everything. Oh, sorry, Rage. Rage is great too. Rage is actually really, really good. So Rage, um, with Aerolate, you can actually do that and then make Evolve and get your Moltis Gale if you really wanted to, although uh, you're kind of wasting a move slot. Not wasting, actually, because you are getting Gyarados uh, flying stab on it, so it's not bad. Um, I was just thinking it's a waste on Mega Gyarados, but again, if you're using Rage, that's 80 base power becomes 96 base power uh, with uh, Aerolate boost, and then you get plus one attack each time you get hit, so you can use uh, Rage, Aerolite with Roost and just rack up attack boosts, and then you can use that into Coil and Power Trip and all that shit. Like, Coil, Power Trip, Roost Rage is like really good, um, you know, because you can heal up and get the defense boost and all that great shit, and you can run max with F um, to make up for the, yeah, and you have great HP, so that's really fun shit. Um, I think that's about it. I mean, you have really powerful stabs as well. Other um, priority moves for Mega Gyarados, it has Dragon Type moves here. Uh, Dragon Hammer, sorry, Dragon Ascent and Draco Meteor are 
physical and special versions of each other. So one of them drops your attack by two, the other one drops your special attack by two. So that's really strong. Uh, this is lagging. I think I'm basically done anyways. Uh, these are not even loading. There we go. Um, yeah, I'm basically done. I mean, you know, you got a couple other random shit, but it's not really worth covering uh, because I've pretty much touched on everything. Again, lots of great coverage. Uh, I believe it's about it, y'all. Super strong and not overpowered. They are not overpowered. Trust me, they are not. Uh, Mega Gyarados will be great, don't get me wrong, but it's not OP. I mean, maybe for the player, but you can argue anything is in the, in the right hands of a player who knows what he's doing, or he or she, sorry, or other, uh, is doing. Um, yeah, that's good shit. Uh, base Gyarados is great. All of them are great. And you could argue they're nerfed in a weird way. I wouldn't say nerfed, but you could argue rebalance. Number one, because of the evolution level. Number two, because of the spit F drop and loss of Intimidate. Uh, Moxie is not really a big deal, but Intimidate is a pretty big deal, but uh, these two abilities fit much better and are much more complementary and fitting and logical and balanced. So yeah, really fun. Really happy with how these guys turned out. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Uh, we're almost done with Kanto, y'all. There's like, what? Lapras, Ditto, Evolutions. I'm gonna do them all in one go um, after. And then you got Porygon, Fossils, Snorlax, Birds, Dragonite, and Mew, and then you're done. So, yeah, we're, we're, we're nearing the end of Kanto, y'all. I'm excited. Um, and thanks for listening, and I will see you guys later.